Welcome back to IO, I'm Charlotte Dobre. I have some extremely sad news to report. According to Australian experts, the Great Barrier Reef can no longer be saved. It has undergone extreme damage, much of which is irreversible at this point. We did a report a few months back about the severe coral bleaching occurring within the Great Barrier Reef. Coral bleaching occurs when coral polyps expel algae that lives inside their tissues. This is happening because of the higher than average sea temperatures. The result is the coral turns white, hence the name. Coral bleaching. The relationship between algae and coral is very important for the health of the whole reef. Algae provides coral with 90% of its energy. Along with much of the coral across the world, the Great Barrier Reef has been extremely damaged by the warming of the oceans. Around 95% of the areas of the Great Barrier Reef surveyed are found to have been bleached. It is the largest die off of corals ever recorded. Bleaching does not always kill coral completely. There was a time not too long ago when the reef could have been saved. However, 67% of the shallow water coral has been declared dead. There is a lot of concern for the future of the reef among committees who have tried to improve the health of the reef. There was a summit hosted last week where more than 70 of the world's leading marine experts tried to work on a plan to respond to the threats. According to an expert panel, substantial areas of the Great Barrier Reef and surrounding ecosystems are experiencing major long-term damage which may be irreversible unless action is taken now. Like right now. This is so 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 important guys. Denying the effect of climate change is ruining our planet. We must reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Hope is not completely lost, but action needs to be taken. Two experts recommended introducing the goal of maintaining the ecological function of the reef. Some strategies included developing coral nurseries and monitoring priority sites to help restore the coral. But the main way to solve this problem is to slash greenhouse gas emissions that are driving climate change and causing our oceans to warm. The the world's nation agreed in Paris in 2015 to limit average warming to 2 degrees Celsius by curbing fossil fuel burning. It is reported that American President Donald Trump is expected to pull out of the Paris climate deal. That means the rest of the world has to work twice as hard to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Take the bus, bike to school or work, tell everyone you know to do the same. I'm Charlotte Dobre, thanks for watching IO, you have just been informed.